Good evening and welcome to the Selectmen's meeting of Tuesday, October 23rd, 2018. If you would like to uh, join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good I would like a motion to approve the following warrants. Do you have that motion? I would like to ratify the payroll warrant from 10-10-18 for $168,555.54. Approve an expense warrant for $10.11. I mean, I'm sorry, a payroll yeah. expense warrant for 10-11-18 for $86,000. Approve a wire warrant for 10-16-18 for $9.67. Approve an expense warrant for 10-16-18 for $169 and $118.07. And approve an expense warrant is a debit adjustment for 10-22-18 for $181.92. And approve an expense warrant for 10-23-18 for $9,051.34. And you have that motion. Okay, and I will second the motion. All, uh, any questions? No. Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now I have uh, approved monthly meeting reports and minutes from other departments. And I'd like to entertain a motion for the Recreation Committee from 9618 and 10418. You have that motion. All in uh, second it. I will second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And announcements, trick or treat and Halloween events will be held Halloween night, Wednesday, October 31st. Trick or treat in the village and common area from 6 o'clock p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Meet at the fire station for a parade to the common. We'll leave promptly at 7.30 p.m. And costume contest in the gazebo upon arrival at the common. And does anybody else have anything for announcements this evening? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll mm -hmm. go on to our agenda. First thing on our agenda is the Cooley Hill property. And uh, it's, it's the... Uh, uh, the uh, letter to not fulfill, I just want to say that's just a formality. You know, they don't okay. want it, but then she did it to the lady okay. today. So. This is for the purchase and sale agreement for the Cooley Hill. Okay. And let's see how many signatures we need on this. We should have a motion to approve. A, mo a motion to approve. You have that motion. I'll second. All right, and then. All right, and uh, a motion to approve that the three of us uh, sign the purchase and sale agreement. Right. We had a motion, we have a second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And while you're signing it, this takes a tremendous liability out of the town. Oh, I know it does. Okay, uh, we have to, we're going to remove Article 3, which is to fund six months of the advisory board stipend for uh, 2018. So I guess they're just going to pay that out of their budget that they mm -hmm. have now. Yeah. And then um, the same thing with Article 5, uh, the Conservation Commission wages. And they're going to take that out of the budget, FY18. And then to transfer, 
Article 13 is to transfer uh, 11,676.78 to the fleet from the highway, and they're going to, and that, that was already acted on. on the, that was on already, the yeah, I forgot you told me that was already acted on at the annual town meeting. So we're going to uh, yeah. remove those. And then, um, we, so then we do have Karen had also uh, put them all in order. So I mean, like different ones for how they go now. Yeah. So they're all in order. Because you each have a packet. The recommended order. They're all recommended order. And then we are going to add from the Treasurer's Department. That was a bill for four hundred yes. and some yeah. dollars. FY some eighteen dollars. bill for the T and G for four hundred dollars and eighteen cents and twenty four cents. And she's going to take that. Because it got misdirected and now we yeah. have to cover it. Yeah, we'll have to cover it. Okay, now weren't we going to vote tonight to support these articles? Yes, I need you while, while you have it open, do your recommendations. Okay, do we want, yeah, because I don't think we have anything more. All right, okay. so, so Madam Chair, I'll give you a, a uh, motion to uh, remove Article 3, Article 5, and Article 13, the six months of advisory board uh, clerk stipend, the okay. conservation clerk wages, and the uh, $11,000 transfer. Uh, and to go ahead and add the Treasurer Department uh, FY18 bill for the TNG. Okay. We have a, se a second. All in favor? Any discussion on these? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, how is the advisory board getting paid then? The 250? The 250, mm -hmm. that was for when Ma right. Maureen Morano right. is um, just going to come out of this year's, I guess. Out of FY19, what right. happened is town council said that because these wages are not considered paying a, pri a prior year bill, that it wasn't really appropriate to put it on the uh, put it on the warrant as such. So she said what she suggested is that for those two, the conservation and for the advisory board, you take it out of the uh, fiscal year 19 budget. Right, and then what you and would do is that allow yeah, like transfers yeah, yeah. from reserve fund right. like, to cover it. So if you needed it to cover this year's wages, you would just between our two committees, we could just sign a transfer from the reserve and cover it for you. Very well. Thanks. So, yep. There's a lot of other mechanisms that we can cover, especially small amounts like that. Got it. Yep. Okay. All right. So we'll, so what we to do now is we will vote to um, see how we're going to support these different options. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the, the first one is the bylaw committee driveway bond article. Yep. So, motion to motion to support. To support. Uh, I thought we were going to state that we didn't really require it because between the bylaw and the whole process we went through with town council to get the policy written up and the procedure available. Now, it, from what I understand, it hasn't really gotten well published because I know the advisory committee knew nothing about the fact that that action has been taken by the highway department. So. Um, I mean, I'll second it for discussion, I guess. Well, um, I thought we had straightened this out uh, the last time we met with um, Herb, and we also had um, Mr. Cook was here. So I thought this, uh, this was all straight. Oh, Mr. Out. Cook didn't like the, the uh, rate schedule that Herb had because it was about 2x what this represents. Yeah. So one of the problems that I have with this particular is that the bond is intended to protect the town, and with mm -hmm. the cost of rectifying if somebody doesn't adhere to the permit requirements or there is you know some sort of remediation required that these bonds are definitely insufficient to cover the town's risk so uh, if you re if you recall the rate schedule mm -hmm. I believe that the highway superintendent submitted to us was I want to say the low end was at either 2,000 or 2,500 and the top end was at 5,500 for one that required a culvert so these these permit fees are much lower than what's considered usual and customary okay. and we've already got a procedure now that that much more firmly refines and our bylaw already yeah. covers it so i I, so, I mean that yeah. my my view is that we would not support but I, my memory's coming back that i, I agree okay i'll let yeah i know the highway department said policy should right. take care of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we can, we're, I thought this was we're not going to recommend it, and okay. we can always pass over it that evening. Yep. Okay. Okay. We'll pass it. Okay. 
Yeah, one of the things I'd like to do, Karen, if you could get that full package that we got from KP Law that we've instituted as our procedure and get it over to Mr. Gillis, um, I would appreciate that. <clears throat> Our next one is the new job position, position job description for a Board of Health Transfer Station Manager. I would like a motion that we um, support this. Motion to support. And I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the next one is from the Treasurer for their bills from KP from FY28 for um, $1,018. Eight hundred and sixteen dollars and forty-nine cents. I would like a motion to support that article. Can I, can I give you a motion for both Article Three and Article Four to support sure. those, since they're just yeah, to we'll cover prior year bills? Yeah. Yep. You get the motion. I get the second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 To increase the next one, number five, Article Five is to increase Chief Blanchard's salary by approximately six thousand dollars per year. Uh, to, I'm sorry. Keep going. To put him in proper alignment with the sergeant's contract salary. I'd like a motion to support that. Um, you have a motion to support. And I'll second, but just a little discussion on the phrasing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this has already been the KP law. Instead of $6,000 per year, it should just state by $6,000 in fiscal year 19. Oh, uh, okay. Um, did you talk to Michelle about that? Mm. She, no, she didn't. We didn't. I, um, I, but yeah, you put your points about that. Well, yeah. it, because really, honestly, what we should be doing is revoting the budgetary line item for the chief's salary. If we look up what was on the annual town meeting, yeah. the proper yeah. structure for this warrant article would be for us to vote to raise and appropriate. Um, but would be for us, and, and I, actually, I would check with Donald Fagno honestly for the phrasing because we did a bunch of this. A, a, I think two years ago, where we changed budgetary line items. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a particular phrasing that you do for that for, for that article. And we were trying okay, to so sign this, this tonight, though. And so you'll have to resign it. Okay. Six. We'll see if the town will. That's what we'll have to do. You sign it sometime tomorrow. I can I can swing by yeah. I can swing by either probably in the evening. I'll work on it tonight. I'll have it ready by the okay. But I, I, I think we can I think we can concur kind, with its posting. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think this should be reworded? I'll talk to them back and I'll call them tonight now. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's probably should be we have to look up the line item number that, um, and actually probably the safest thing is to get the uh, the account number from the accountant. I, and but I don't think it. we've ever done it like that before. We did two years ago. Two years ago we, we re-voted four different line items on the budget. Well, um, we can well, we can say what the line item is, but I don't think we need the account number for it. Just no. say what line item. Yeah, we could just say what line item. Well, it what is line item? item. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. So long as we have something that indicates, yeah. it's just that we're. So, so, so what, what I would do is I would I would take the amount that it was originally voted and say, um, basically, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate um, a sum of money to to increase the police chief salary from X to okay. why or take any action relative there too. I don't, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to confuse them when you do that. I would just say to take and add um, 6,000. I would give a line item and to add uh, 6,000 per year. That's how I would do it. I don't think I would put in the whole salary. Okay, so that's yeah, it would it would be going from seventy two one eighty nine to seventy eight one eighty nine. We could have the information available, but I don't know if I would put the whole thing in there. Well, town council already approved this. Well, well right? she approved it the way it was. Town council did. Well, right? yeah, she did. She did. She did. Okay. I mean, so that's fine. We'll just, we'll just leave, it that, just leave it that way. We can we can leave it that way. Okay. You know what? I'll do we'll put it in the motion. When I, when I do the. Um, when I do the explanations, yep. my hand up, I'll add that. I'll yeah, add if, if you would. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, okay. yeah, and then if, we need, if we need to do any hijinks okay. with the, uh, from a standpoint of budgetary line item, we can put it in the motion because yeah. it still meets the intent of the warrant article. Yeah. So we should be good. Okay. So uh, we're all in favor. So we have a motion, we have a second, and let's move forward. We're all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, number six is the salary increase uh, for the, CEO salary 
and from to 11,000 annually. And it went up, uh, did we have how much Karen that went up? It, um, it's, um, it, it's 2,000 some odd dollars. I guess I didn't have that. Yeah, we, better, yeah we, can, we can put in the information. Yeah. It, it is. Oh, it's definitely in the handout. It's yeah, just it's got to be there. It's got to be in there. Okay. Um, I'd like a motion, motion to support to, that. Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And again, none of these that I'm giving you tonight have the explanations because I expected you to yeah. sign it and I just figured yep. everybody saw these so many times. Okay. 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 And the next one is seven. And that is the, uh, for the highway. It's um, $2,700 for safety equipment, and that's a raise and appropriate. And I'd like a motion to support this article. Motion to support. Second. So All in is, favor? Is that not part of this budget already? You know? No, it, it, it was not included no. in the baseline expenses. We started including safety monies in last year's budget, and for whatever reason, he didn't put in for the separate line item this year. Because I know we put it in last year. I, I, right, exactly, and then it and it failed to propagate this year. Yeah. <clears throat> Our next one is Article Eight, and that's um, another one for the highway to approve uh, ten thousand dollars more for tree work, and that was raised appropriate. I would like a motion to support this. Motion article. to support. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. And on the next one, number nine is. 39000 for a generator um, for the highway department. I know that this was on the annual and we had passed it over to the fall, and this will come out of stabilization, and that would need a two thirds vote when we do that. So I'd like um, uh, motion to a support. motion to support that. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now we have number 10 the Rice Connor Road drainage repair, and I see that it's 33000 and uh, I would like a motion to support that. This one's hard. I know this is a very difficult one. So can I ask Mr. Cleveland where we stand with any feedback from conservation and our others? Nothing. So motion to pass over for now yeah. because we just don't know. It's on. It's a, our recommendation would be to pass over. Pass over because I don't. I don't support this at all. Well, we've got to get it done. But. Yeah, I know we have to get it done, but I don't feel that it's up to the town to have to pay for this. Right, but I, I think it's important to put it in front of the townspeople, though, because here's the deal. To me, is that water, like runoff water, is also part of infrastructure, just like roads themselves are part of infrastructure. And granted, it's the state's land that's causing us the water problem, but I think it's important for us to decide as a town meeting whether we want to say, you know what, it's more important to us that both the homeowners across the street are taken care of as a community and that the potential future owners in that area are taken care of as a community and then fight it out over the $33,000 with the state than it is necessarily to leave a problem that's there. Well, so, the way I feel on this is once we start doing it for this area, then other people are going to probably come forward too and say that they have drain off water drains coming from properties and they're going to want to fix too so I just think we're opening like a whole can of worms yeah. if we do but something like that. I think it's different though when the runoff is coming from another private person's property yeah. and there's some accountability mm -hmm. there versus Can, the If that was state. private property the town could put in, uh, a, a lien, lien on, lien yeah. on the property. With this we can't because the state owned property. You two are there. I know I think they've been up there. And they but, didn't favor it. But we have the third back to the notion yeah. to pass over is not that we're afraid of this thing we're saying no to this no. getting done what we're saying is that this to get it in front of the town so that they understand it yeah. and that we want to fight the good fight to get the money steve did you have a question not a question i just want to, the advisory supported it and we thought it was in the long run a safety issue you know you start damaging the roads and various other things, ice conditions. Whatever. But it's not damaging the road. What's going in, there's a culvert that runs under the road and it's going down into the people's land that have built homes. They've, they've built homes in like you almost could say a gully. And what it is, is this drain off water goes down into their backyard, right? And the water going across the road works just like on, on Great Walk Street, the ends of the asphalt mm -hmm. now starting to break off. Yeah. yeah, so it is actually damaging the road. That's, that's, that we were based on some of that yeah. sort of but insight. also it, so what it is what it's doing too i mean it's going into these piece, people's properties right okay just that's all okay so where do we stand yeah
So we're recommending passing over yeah, their support and pass over actually it. executing it. Okay. Support to um, pass over this article. Okay, my so motion not is supporting to it. You're recommending passing over. That's what yes, you're pass over. <coughs> okay. I'll I'll second the motion, but I'm going to vote against. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I vote to pass over this article. So it's two, two of us, two, 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 two to one to pass over. Okay. The next one is uh, eleven. It's to raise two buildings for nine thousand dollars from the Board of Health. And I would like motion to support. Second motion to support. All in favor? Aye. What are the two buildings in the, in the I may ask? Um, it's one on South Maple Street. And one on I can't think of Lower them. River. I and the ones on the other one is Lower on River. River Street. Yeah. Lower River. No, it's on River. river? Lower River is down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's on yeah. River Street. It's on River. So we're all set with that one? Yeah, then these were not something that could be rehab rehabbed. Yeah, there was a third one that was reviewed, but it's it's yeah, that in condition. Right. No, that can two get of these two, one of them you could it's like sets on a cliff, so you couldn't you can't do anything with That's that. That's the river street one. Okay. All right. The next one is number twelve. It's the fun fleet account. Oh, are we do? Did we do did we, we did. vote that? Hmm? Did we we didn't vote it. We no, that's what we're raise. going to do. No, we didn't. We didn't vote the raise. One. Oh, okay. Um, can we? So a motion to support raise number eleven. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The next one is twelve, and that's from the fund fleet account. Uh, it's that's based on the recommendation recommendation by the CIPC to generally fund it. For fifteen to twenty thousand, as recommended by the state. Um, and then I was I was given a figure of twenty. It was it's a, it's twenty. Now. So they want us yeah. to take twenty out to do that. Good. Okay. Uh, a recommendation. I mean, I'd like to uh, a recommendation or a motion to support, support. twenty thousand dollars. You have that motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Would, would this add that as a line item, standard line item to the budget at that point? Uh, no. 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 And and the reason for that is that if if we start getting more scientific in how we do it, yeah. um, we that that amount might change year over year. It's not necessarily a standard funding item. Like if we buy a couple of new vehicles. Then we might not need as much in that particular fund. Because that's used it's, to repair. Yes, right, because that's yeah. used to repair. Yeah. So, but it, while we have an old fleet, we probably want to fund it at a certain level. So, the other advantage is that by funding it as a warrant article instead of operational budget, it, instead of automatically getting turned back at the end of the year to recycle in the free cash, because it's voted as a warrant article, it'll stay there year over year unless we physically vote to move it out. Got it. Um, so if we need to, if we need to accumulate funds because we have an aging fleet, it's another way to do that separate of stabilization so that it's actually accessible if something goes kaboom. So that line accumulates. Yep. Got it. Yes. Okay. And this requires, if it's coming from stabilization, it requires a two-thirds vote. Right. But once it's in there, it can just be, it can be spent as needed. Okay. Well, okay. That, I'd like a motion to support this. Yep. Have the motion to support. Second. Any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and the next one is number 13, to uh, a vote to support the fire truck, and that's for a pumper truck, um, up to, and we're going to spend up to $280,000, and I guess we will borrow that money to do along with the police station. Uh, motion to support? Motion to support. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I oppose. Support to and yeah. you do know, obviously, you all know about the uh, the grant that Kathy and Peter were working on. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, so, um, so I, I know my goal with that would be is if the town chooses not to support it at the town meeting, mm -hmm. um, given the timing of everything. Um, I'd like to recommend that next year, this next annual town meeting that we have coming up, that what we do is we actually hold one town meeting per our bylaws, which is the Friday after the election, uh, our local municipal election, with just the non-money articles except for this. Because what worked out really well at last year's town meeting was splitting the town meeting. And if we get rid of all the administrative stuff, 
right one day and then have another town and have the continuation of that same town meeting set for like the middle of June when first first or second week of June when we normally do it and do all the money articles then it will save us from the marathon town meeting and that worked out really I thought pretty rational all right but well that's something you know we can discuss when the time comes yeah, yeah but let's, I was, let's yeah. get it what so back let's back up to that because I like the idea so if, because if that's what we always did we would do the whole thing yeah, yeah, but again, I think that the idea of the go and go through everything as non money articles. Yeah. Right, but yeah. and I would add this one to that if it doesn't pass this time because mm -hmm. it would allow us to roll up that lending with this with the police station and not get the secondary funding yeah. fee. Because the big reason to try to do this either now or sometime by May mm -hmm. would be so that we don't have to pay a second loan origination fee and it saves the town a bucket of money from the borrowing perspective. So, so, um, so if we were to back up from first of May to the timing for calling the town meeting, yes, so we would want to call, we would ha want it on an agenda for March. Yep. Right? Yes. Yeah. Right. So, yes. Karen, Karen, can you put that on your tickler for that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So I guess that's it on this. So I'd like to a motion to close the um, special town meeting warrant. You have a motion. Second. In favor? Aye. 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 All right. And then we're going to change things around. Weren't you going to do some change wording so we really can't no. sign these tonight? No. Well, no, 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 no we're not going to remember. We can't sign them. Oh, yeah. We can't sign them. We're just going to add that warrant to the after information okay. figures to the recommendation. Okay. So what, what, why can't we sign it tonight? We can't. Oh, you no, can't. We can't. Can. We can. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good okay. on the wording. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I would like to have an addition as a vote for there was an email also from Peter O'Connell saying that he was working with Peter to kind of maybe um, have some word that we could get a demand on the floor, whatever, which would kind of ease it into the, the grant, or if it's so that we would make the grant. And it, I mean, that, that yep. kind of needs to be changed. Yeah. Sure. Right, and, and, I, and, and I know the fallback position is the let's try to have the town meeting early enough to get it rolled in with the police station. If, if we can't get it this time around. Okay. I would uh, also, I would like to make now uh, a motion to sign the special town meeting warrant. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. have a motion to appoint Brenda Parrish to be our representative, uh, Berkeley representative for the SCM Elder Bus. I you have that motion. Second. I really appreciate this. Yeah, uh, I do too. This I'm is excellent. Uh, <clears throat> I think I have to be. Thanks to Brenda. 
Yes. I'm pleased to see that somebody stepped up to this and yes. congratulate Brenda for doing that. Yes. Okay, then I would like to have a motion to sign the state election warrant for the election on um, the 6th of November. You have that motion. Right. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Karen, do you know if Mike's already posted the ballot up on the website so people can see? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Well, I know early voting. I mean, early voting started yesterday. Right. So that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. You want mine? Yeah. I know, I think we all did. <laughs> I had a job in the early 2000s where I signed hundreds of documents a week. Next on the agenda is um, a wage authorization, and this came from the highway department, and it's for employee um, Jay Haley, and uh, the position is emergency operator. Motion is approved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Time to start thinking about flowers, so. Mm. Got some little bit of hail this afternoon. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, he, they showed us. We have a copy of the CDLs and Contract and this is to consult to study solar energy and energy in the town. And this is one that uh, Beth had applied for, and we got it. Congratulations. Thank you. Fantastic. So, so, would you like to talk about it at all? Sure. Um, so, this is a design only grant. So, one of the reasons I know we got some correspondence from the CIPC, the reason why we hadn't really consulted with them in advance was that we wanted to see if we could get the design money. So, what we could bring forward was a a fully, I mean, a lot of folks talk about, you know, we get these ideas and we put it in front of people and we don't really have the numbers or a plan yet. So the concept here is that the state has offered money to do um, feasibility studies and analysis for certain types of solar projects over 15 kW uh, annually. And one of the uh, things that we left out of the police station because uh, we were trying to keep things like under budget and, and on time was uh, a, a cover for the police cars so that they would they would be able to keep the cars ready without having to necessarily keep them like running all the time and keep the snow off of them stuff like that so um, one of the types of solar that um, the state has done a bunch of designs throughout has been doing like carports and canopies 
Um, so basically, we put together a kind of concept, um, got a design house out in the Midwest to at least quote like what the total cost of the project would be, and then give some conceptual design stuff for free. Mm -hmm. So we got that from them uh, at no charge. Um, included that in the grant application along with uh, you know some Google Earth site plans and stuff like that to, to talk about it. And uh, the math behind what the power consumption is at the police station um, would give us basically about a seven to eight year payback of the difference between the cost of the project minus the design cost, which is fully covered by the grant. It's not even a matching grant. It's just a, a, a grant to go do the study, okay? Um, which is why we didn't have to take it to town meeting if anyone's wondering about that, because we don't need to have any matching funds. We had to show that if we needed any small amount of additional funds that we could cover it, but we were able to show sufficient commitment by saying, hey, we're hiring a consultant and planner to handle grants and they would handle the administration of this. So that's the town's contribution to the design. Um, and basically it'll put us in a position where we'll know really the exact cost, how much power we could get, um, and how we could best leverage it, because I don't know if people are aware of it, but um, our governor let the um, net metering uh, cap removal uh, bill that had gotten through our House of Representatives and Senate die uh, when the Senate went off. So right now, solar in the state of Massachusetts is not um, really, uh, like the net metering, there's no longer, we're actually above the cap that was set. So the power companies have no obligation to allow anyone to get into the type of net metering arrangement and allow funds to come back to the town like what we have on the landfill. So that's something that um, if you're concerned about solar growing, I've, I've, I've had some discussions with some of the solar contractors in the area about how what a negative effect that's having. The one advantage we have on this project is that when I talk to a local designer is because we have this complex of buildings, if the police station wouldn't use all of the power. We could actually set up the circuits from the get-go to include um, both the meter for here mm -hmm. and there. And that would allow us to take full advantage of that even if it made more than what the police station actually uses. Um, so the position of that location actually puts us in a good place that the design, uh, we, could, we could leverage every amount of power that it creates to assist in that payback and assist in that, in that uh, mitigation of costs going forward for the town. So that's the, that's the concept and this grant will allow us to get a real plan that we can put in front of people with real numbers. So. And you talk about some area of your payback, but the reality is, is we have the ability to go after another grant with a good plan. Yeah. Right. So that it may not be seven or eight years, it may be in this same, paid for. In this same grant program, exactly. So yeah. I'm saying worst case scenario, if we didn't get another penny towards it, it'd be a seven or eight year payback. Right. But the same grant that we applied for for the design is also eligible for up to $250,000 construction projects. So we would potentially be able to complete this grant and then go after another and the state would know how we had handled the design so it would probably be in our favor from a standpoint of if we, if we manage this grant appropriately and get the design done appropriately, there's a good chance that we could just get it fully funded. And it's a novel approach, which is a couple of points. Is, is a question, is this uh, what Peter was referring to in an email earlier today, $12,000, and so the 12 is for the design? Correct. And mm -hmm. this is what you're saying does not need to be approved by a town uh, meeting or anything else? Correct, okay, because right. because it's, it's really the only overhead we have in the way that this grant is written is we have to provide the resources to kind of guide the project, but yeah. we don't have to do any matching funds. In, yeah. So it's not like we're going to pay $6,000 of the design and just have this amount of money to get the design done with. So yeah. there's there's no town expenditure other than some administrative overhead to, to keep track of it. And then that'll give us the plan to put in front of the Capital Improvement Committee. Very and well. and, right. and, and right. he, he just, he was a little too quick and with the email because my plan was was that now that this was approved to at least do the preliminary plan and turn it in for for the, the 11 9 deadline that the CIPC had put out for the five-year plans coming yeah. from our office and he, he sent his email two weeks too early because he would have had a plan within a, okay. about another week so but he'll have a plan he will have a plan cool. yeah. so thank you okay 
I would like now to uh, have the board vote to let the chairman sign the contract. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Trying to get some some positive momentum, so. Now, in this compare, and this just requires my signature on both lines. Which one is that? This is the second one. This is the left. Oh, that's it. Yes, this is just, um, ah! just you. Okay. And I'll fill out the other one. All right, thank you. Okay, so we're going to have the one on our agenda is to sign the local uh, cultural account, account uh, allocation for the Brookfield Cultural Council. And that's just to allow the, the state yeah. funds to come to the local. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Stuff that's not in Steve's budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, we're trying to keep as much off the budget as there possible. There you go, I'm with you there. Yeah. Makes everyone happy. This is like the, it's like the 65,000 for the uh, investigating the price on the road call it. They wouldn't let us replace it, but then now they're gonna give us $65,000 to look at it. But the same problem is on Lake Road too. So that's an nice project we're going to have to go after. Mm -hmm. The water goes right down from the Lake Road, eight to Plainfield. That's just another place for that. Yes, the next one is to uh, sign an uh, invoice for the, from uh, Mass Regional Planning for the Small Communities Open Space Planning Grant. Yep, no, she's just the second. No, this is CBDG. Oh, 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 We're signing a CBDG. Okay, oh, I, I skipped up ahead, I'm sorry. Yep, don't okay. jump up. I'd like a motion to yeah, sign. Yeah, CBDG, sign, 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 sign. Okay, <laughs> second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Making some progress. Okay. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. We had a good meeting on the municipal vulnerability grant as well. That's the one that Kathy brought to you late this afternoon that Clarence knows. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll let Clarence do the next The open space oh. planning grant. Oh, yeah. So are we applying or receiving already? Well, I'm assigning, signing off. I, you know, signing off on the application. I believe that's what it is, yeah. Yep. Okay, our next one here, I think I'll let Clarence take over. Yes, this is for to sure. sign the CMGRPC Small Communities Open Space Group. Right, so our open space plan 10 years ago was done by CMRPC. And that um, what we have, I just want to make doubly sure of what we're doing. Yes, this is the application. application. Yeah, so what we're, where we are is, as we've talked about open space and planning, mm -hmm. and we talked about the um, campground and how that would work into the, this, how rec the recreation activities work into this. What this is, is this is the application to go after the money 
for the grant, the, the, the actual doing of the work. And so what this uh, will do is in, by December time frame, we should receive this grant and that that would then um, allow for the organization to complete the open space plan, which would also, because of this particular activity and what, how they want it done, it really tries to drive you to things like the campground or other activities or, or maybe some improvements to the playground, you know, those kinds of things where additional monies would be available. Cool. So similar to BESS, where you're going out with a planning grant and then based on the planning grant, it allows you to go get some more money. Uh, for different projects, so I would I would recommend that we sign the application. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll second that. that. Okay. And um, in favor of signing this grant? Aye. Aye. And I think that's my cover. Oh, that's you. Just yeah. A that's that's a couple of. Them. And it basically says that we're interested to work with CMRPC as we did ten years ago. And then the difference of 10 years ago to today is they put some teeth in this that you actually have to do something at the end. And fortunately, we have the campground that we have to do, do something, something about. So. Yes, we have. Or the, the rec folks have plans for the playground. So okay. Now, this has, we have, we need signatures here from uh, conservation. Yes, we'll, while he's here, we'll have him sign. Can you want to sign this, please? And then we'll probably need one more. Our water connection. Well, we can get that tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Actually, is that still on? Okay, I'll get some more tomorrow. Yeah, our earlier work with the, the folks to do the planning, the earlier planning, mm -hmm. it just supports the grant, so. I, it should be a, a no-brainer to move forward. That's good. Thank you for going out. That's good. Yes. Cool. The next one here is a special permit. Just one. Just so one. Oh, fishing. I forgot to bring yeah. that back, back to you. That's yeah. okay. Oh, okay. It's a special permit for the event will be 6-9-19 for Quaybog Pond, and this is from the Northern Center Bass Angler. And I'd like a motion, motion to approve. To approve and have Beth sign this. Second. All right. Uh, do we have anything under other that we'd like to do? Nothing. Beth, are you okay? Oh. I apologize because I know that you all were willing to have the uh, meeting on the Tuesday of town meeting um, at another location because I had a work conflict, but my work conflict had just backed, backed itself all the way up to Monday, so I won't be able to uh, attend that Tuesday meeting anyway. So if you want to move it to Monday or Wednesday or, well, or what have you. And that's for next you. month, right? But yeah, that was, that's, well, the, maybe, that's the one that's on election day. Well, maybe we should on even... November 6th. It, well, yeah. Well, okay. we, I think I'll, I'll be out of um, town for a few days, so why don't we just cancel it all together? Let me check I mean, you mean you can be here? I can't. I yeah. can't be here either because I'm going to be, I'm going away for a few days. And I can't do it by myself, so. Okay, so, do it. <laughs> so we'll cancel it. Anyway, I, mean, I don't know that there's much on anyways, and even if there is, I mean, if it's something where we can take care of it on the 9th of that. Well, yeah. yeah. So we're going to have we're going to have a, a meeting just before the special. special. Yeah. So we have to do. The special is seven, so we'll meet at what six thirty. And if there's anything to do. Yep. yep. Okay. That sounds good. Special is six thirty. Oh, is it? Right. Six thirty. Special is six thirty. So we'll meet at seven. Or at six. Yes. I mean, we'll be. I'm sorry. We'll meet. We'll meet at six o'clock. Yeah, that's already posted for six anyway. Oh. We'll post it. Yeah. It's in the break room at the school. Okay. Will we be meeting as a group prior? Is it 6.30? Yeah, 6.30. Yeah. We'll be meeting at 6 because the meeting is 6.30. Okay. So you should probably post it one too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be meeting at 6 because the meeting is 6.30. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and this is the bridge inspection report for the South Pond Road and South Pond Inlet. It says, uh, Mr. Chafee, as part of the Massachusetts Bridge Inspection Program, MassDOT, Highway Division performs the inspection of municipality over bridges that have a clear span of 20 feet or greater. These bridges are scheduled to be inspected every two years or less. In review of the attached report, please note the different deficiencies highlighted for your immediate attention. For your records is a copy of the recent bridge inspection field report for the reference municipality owned bridge. Repair, rehabilitation, or reconstruction of any bridges to address the deficiencies report is the owner slash custodian's responsibility. Chapter 90 monies may be used for this purpose. Questions regarding the contents of the report may be directed to the district bridge inspection engineer, Mahum Azizi, at 508-929-3822. And this is signed by Barry Lauren, uh, District 3 Highway Superintendent. And the highway already has a copy. And the highway already has a copy. One more. One more in here, too? Okay. And then would you mind passing that one down? I would just like to scan it while we're okay. here. And this is another one uh, from the Department of uh, Housing and Community Development. And it's, dear Mrs. Lincoln, I am writing to advise that your application to the Housing Choice Small Town Capital Grant for FY 2019 was not funded. This was a very competitive round in which requests exceeded available funds by over $1.8 million. And unfortunately, your application was not among those we were able to fund. We received 33 applications and awarded 12 grants. Please check back on the housing webpage in the spring of 2019 for more information uh, about the 20 FY 2020 program. That was for the snow cleats, the one that Kathy applied okay. for. Yeah. Okay, and this is so from didn't get that Chris Clutchman, Housing Choice Director. You go up to some, you, you get go. some. Yeah. Yeah. Karen, would you be kind enough to check with Herb and find out if this is the bridge inspection where he has already gone back and done some of the work in order to start to address the deficiencies or if this is an additional one? Because I know that I've had some discussions with him surrounding some of it. Um, the one other thing I should have brought up very quickly under other sure. and kind of correspondence is the, the group of citizens that's interested in advising on long-term strategy for uh, affordable housing has offered to write at least like cooperatively draft the charter. Are you all okay with me working with them to draft the charter for that group? Because we talked about it the last meeting. For which group? The folks that want to help with coming up with like a affordable housing strategy for Brookfield. Okay. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they would be interested in it. Yeah, yeah. No problem. That'd be good. Great. Okay. Anything else, Stephen? <coughs> oh, okay. No? We will. Motion two at what is it about seven twenty three to yep. adjourn this the meeting. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.